hello in this playlist uh, we are going to cover about unit number 5 which is nothing but the fundamentals of audio video recording which contains a method of sound recording and reproduction optical recording cd recording audio standards digital sound recording cd dvd players mp3 players and a blu ray dvd player so the topic of today's discussion is the optical recording on the photographic film so before understanding what is optical recording will see how many types of the recordings are there so if you see here the methods of sound recording are basically two one is the magnetic recording and other one is the optical recording so if i compare these two recordings the magnetic recording is comparatively uh, the old technology whereas right now we are having in the world of optical recording so magnetic recording is again of a two type tape recording whereas you might have uh, seen the audio cassette recordings VCRs, video cassette recorders, camcorders. So these are the types of the tape recording, whereas the tape or, uh, recording were done on the tapes, magnetic tapes. Disc recording, whereas floppy disk and hard disk, these are the examples of the magnetic recording, magnetic disc recording. Optical recording again is categorized into two categories. That is uh, optical recording on the photographic film. So it will be called as a photographic film recording, whereas film or photographic material is used to record either you audio or a video uh, here you were talking about the sound recording then the sound will be recorded here optical disc recording acd that is audio cd vcd that is video cd dvd digital versatile disc mp3 hd dvds bd dvds mpeg player so these are nothing but the type or the categorization of the recording in today's section we are sec, uh, session we are going to talk about the optical recording on the photographic film so before going to that we must understand how that tape recording takes place in the magnetic uh, process so here if you see uh, the uh, there is a laminated core which is uh, having a small gap which is called as a back gap and whereas it is uh, you can say uh, wounded with the wire to which we are giving the amplified audio signal input so you can see you are giving input here which is uh, you can say you, know, you have just uh, putting it on that laminated core this again you are putting here on the laminated core so whenever you are giving amplified audio signal to this laminated core the magnetic energy gets developed here and that magnetic energy will be collected on the material which is made up of say you can say uh, sensitive this to this particular magnetic properties so you can say this is the tape backing this is the tape coating so recording process on the tape is in such a way which is almost absoluted nowadays or we are not using it in uh, uh, rigorously so magnetic tape recording Magnetic tip records the sound and converts it into electrical signal through microphone. Alignment and orientation of tiny magnetic particles will depend upon the sound intensity and frequency of the audio signal. So numerical analysis gives you the recorded wavelength is equal to S by F, whereas S is the speed of tap, F is the frequency of the audio. If the gap width is lambda by 2, so what will happen? Maximum output will be obtained, extending it would decrease the output. So the gap width if you keep it a lambda by 2 lambda is nothing but the wavelength of the frequency of that particular sound signal which you are giving to it now we are talking about the types of the optical recording there are two categories of the optical recording recording on the photographic films and recording on the compact disc so recording on photographic films is done by converting audio signal into variations of light intensity falling on the film intensity of the light from a slit is made to vary in accordance with the sound pressure variations when this light falls on the edge of edge of main film sound is recorded now recording on a compact disc now this is done with the help of laser beams made on and off by digitized audio signals these beams fall on a photoresist material on a rotating disc and cause bits of varying width and fixed depth and thus record signal in binary form flats and pits making ones and zeros so this is the types of so we are going to talk about the optical recording of sound on film photographic film there is variable density method and there is the variable area method so in this method sound is picked up by microphone and converted into electrical signal which are amplified audio output 
of the amplifier is fed to the anode of the special type of vacuum tube called AEO lamp. The lamp contains a little quantity of helium gas. So the anode gets high DC voltage in series with the audio voltage. The filament of the lamp is connected to the low DC voltage. So the intensity of light coming out from the lamp varies in accordance with the audio signal. So this varying light passes through a slit and a focusing lens, the focused light falls on the moving photographic film where the image is recorded. So you can see here, this is your mic, this is audio amplifier, this is audio power amplifier. Now this is connected to the AEO lamp. So you can see your input is given to the anode and like the intensity of light will depend on the input audio signal. So and it is made to fall on the photographic film through slit and the concentrate or, or the focusing lenses and the sound tracks will be recorded. So this is the diagram of variable density method. Another method is the variable area method whereas you can see in this method light of constant intensity falls on a slit. So the area of slit open for this light varies in accordance with the variation of sound pressure. Hence the light falls on the variable area on the sound track age of the film so this is the area which brights to light varies the area of the slit is made variable with the help of mirror or galvanometer so this is the variable area method this is the constant intensity light which falls here okay your mirror is attached on the movable uh, you can say plate here and you are putting it in the uh, i can say uh, magnetic field so if you are giving this is the audio signal given to the pre-amplifier, power amplifier and connected to the coil. So whenever you, this signal intensity varies, there will be the change in the light which comes out of this particular, you can say, mirror. Okay? So this light falls on this particular photographic film and in such a way your area defines or your variable area defines what that particular audio signal is there so this is the variable area method the next one is nothing but the reproduction of sound from the films how that particular reproduction is done so you can see this is the lamp of constant intensity focusing system this is lit this is again a focusing system then this is the photographic film on which your sound is recorded now this light falls on this particular photographic film and the light comes out of this particular film is collected with the photocell and that photocell converts that light intensity into the electrical signal which is equivalent to the audio signal which will be amplified with the audio amplifier and given to the loudspeaker. So a sharply focused narrow beam of light is made to fall or uh, on the soundtrack of the film as the film moves light passing through bright and gray shaded portion in case of variable density record and through bright portions of invariable area in case of the variable area record fall on the photocell which converts this light into electrical signals in both types of recording the quantity of light falling on the photocell will depend on the strength of the recorded audio signal the output of the photo cell will therefore be an audio voltage which can be amplified and fed to the loudspeaker which is finally converted into sound. So this is all about the recording of uh, you can say uh, audio signal on the photographic film. So we will stop here. Thank you.